These are the 20 craziest goals in football history. And at number 20, Wayne Rooney proved that when he's desperate for a win, he'll risk everything. Away by Canals. Pinballs to Rooney. Rooney sees Roel. Oh! It's in the net. Damn, man. I thought I'd only see shit like that in FIFA. 68 yards? That was crazy, but it was only in the MLS. When Neymar did it number 19, literally got him nominated for awards. Don't you ever come up the cracks and try to tell me how to get it by. Anyways, your goal was crazy, but it didn't set a world record like at number 18. Uh, yeah, Ronaldo really jumped over 28 inches, reached the ball 2 meters in the air, and held in the air for over a second. No wonder why after the game he tweeted this. But see, Ronaldo wasn't playing with the same type of pressure as number 17, because this next goal decided whether or not an entire family got assassinated. 93rd minute. Down by one, with a final kick deciding who'd make the World Cup. And you'd think the stakes don't get much crazier than that, right? Well, as David Beckham stepped up, in came the flashbacks. The last time he had a World Cup opportunity, Beckham had a meltdown, cost his club the match, became the most hated man in all of England, and ever since, him and his family were haunted by death threats, leaving them terrified to even step outside. But now, Beckham finally had a chance to save him and his family. That goal secured England a spot in the World Cup, put Beckham back on top of the football world, and the country instantly forgave him. But at least his goal made sense. What if I told you number 16's goal literally defied physics? It's a 30 yard free kick with a 20 yard run up. Uh, yeah, I ain't seen a curve that bad since I looked at my Instagram DMs. And that kick right there could make a grown man cry, just like number 15 on our list. With the game tied up in the final minutes of a thriller, I never would have thought giving head on live TV would ever be allowed. But hey, anything for a win, I guess. My guy straight up risked brain damage for a dub. Gotta respect it. But for real, you wanna know what's crazier than a player scoring a goal? Number 14. And that's literally why Wafa blocked us from even showing the goal. Just look at this. But even all of that ain't as crazy as number 13. The time an entire club couldn't even stop one guy. Goed ingehouden. En nu dan is Gito. Oh! God damn, my boy's letting. He's built different. Straight up bodying guys, breaking ankles, and with his off foot? That was almost as crazy as number 12. You ever wonder what it would be like to be in the middle of a professional football game and just think to yourself, f it? The fact that dude even had the confidence to attempt a 70 yard goal and risk being benched forever blows my fing mind. But even a goal from that distance, the ball was only in the air for four seconds. What happened at number 11 though? I thought the ball was never gonna hit the ground. If only his kick led to a win, maybe he would have hit the top 10 on our list. But now that we're here, it's time we take things to a whole new level. Uh, someone might want to check on Sir Alex Ferguson, man. I don't know if dude's celebrating or having a heart attack. Kind of reminds me of myself when I saw number 9. Because this goal was so crazy, it even left some of football's most legendary players stunned. A Champions League final with the game tied up. In the 60th minute, Real Madrid knew it was now or never to sub in their secret weapon, Gareth Bale. And it took less than two minutes from that sub to make history. I don't know what he executed better, the goal or the celebration. But as much fun as it probably was having sweaty grown men jumping on top of you, what happened at number 8 was so embarrassing, it turned the goalkeeper into a meme. Yeah, I bet you're wondering how someone could possibly end up in that situation. Well, just look at this. That had to hurt. And 54 yards? Damn, man. But hey, if I was the goalkeeper, I would have learned to live with that one. Because a goal like that, it's once in a lifetime. Just like number seven on our list. But this goal had less than a 1% chance of going in. Full speed, off balance, and just look at the angle Carlos had on that play. That goal was nothing short of a miracle. 
But listen, I imagine he did something that crazy during the World Cup. Like at number six, down 1-0, ball at the halfway line, and Netherlands was desperate for some momentum. But in the closing minutes of the first half, Van Persie took a leap of faith. The precision, the timing, one of football's most difficult goals ever, and many claimed it was the greatest header of all time. So with that, Van Persie put himself in the history books. But that goal, eh, it could be argued as luck. Now for number five, it was all skill. When one player left an entire club, questioning if they chose the right career path. Coming into the moment, Mo Salah was on fire. Seven consecutive games with a goal, now facing one of the Premier League's best squads. And in the 75th minute, game tied up, this was the moment Mo Salah worked his entire life for. Man City's defenders for dead. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight defenders confused. And the only thing that could have been worse than that is a move so crazy the defenders straight up surrender. Well, just take a look at number four. <laughs> yeah, with this shot being defended by one of football's greatest goalkeepers ever, Ronaldo pulled off the most legendary goal in Champions League history. With a move so majestic, it literally left Zidane thinking his hair grew back. Sorry man, Ronaldo's a football player, not a magician. So maybe you can get some help from one of these guys in the top three. Because now we got the man, the myth, the legend himself, Lionel Messi. My boy literally got the ball, paused, saw the future, and wasn't stopping until he accomplished his goal. Literally. But guess what? At number two, Messi did something even crazier. This man really brought the ball up the field completely on his own, and the other team couldn't do a damn thing about it. At this point, having Messi on your team shouldn't even be legal. And yet, that's not even number one on our list. So now, the moment we've all been waiting for. 90 minutes in, Sweden up 3-2, and Zlatan was already annihilating England with three goals himself, but the game wasn't finished. So with time winding down, Zlatan wanted to give us the craziest goal in football history. Just like that, the game was over. On Zlatan's fourth goal of the night, he put himself in the Kickflix Hall of Fame. And I ain't seen something that crazy since I saw Ronaldo completely humiliate his opponents. And I know you want to hear more about that, so click this video right here.